this is a little giant 240 kV impulse generator test set. We, we see the six stages of generator and we're going to test the capacitor which is almost 10,000 picofarad. Uh, first we have to turn on the oscilloscope it's operating from battery. The line cord has to be unplugged. We're going to test a 1500 picofarad capacitor and first at 100 kV and later we set the right rise time and we're going to set the efficiency and later we go up to 150 kV. So we turn on the impulse generator, turned on. Yep. And press the high voltage on. And it will ch uh, right now the buzzer is sounding and the red light is on. The solenoid already opened, you heard the click and it's charging up to, we set it up to 130 kV. And we make a single shot to see what is the wave efficiency looks like. The scope is set for 10 kV per line even 20 kV we have to set for 20 kV per centimeter press the high voltage button impulse button and we got the waveform how we, everything no we didn't get because it was but a single shot. We repeat it. Turn the high voltage on. No, 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 no. Takes five seconds to ch it charges up. 230 kV. We check the scope. It's ready and impulse it. Let's see the waveform. It's a, let's set one microsecond per division. That means the rise time is a, is about right. And hard to see because the sky is white. This way. And the voltage level by the scope is 40, 80, 135 130 kV about we're going to raise the voltage to 150 kV and high, turn the high voltage on Reset the scope to make a single shot, it charges up. Hundred and fifty KV, press the impulse and see the waveform. It's a little bit high, the efficiency is have to set it lower okay so we're going to calibrate the system with a sphere gap we set up the impulse generator two capacitors are parallel and uh, three of them series that means actually it's a three stages generator the maximum output voltage in this time could be 120 kilovolt and a meter on a 
panel going to show the double the voltage. That means when it's showing 240, the actual output is 120. Uh, the reason because previously we tested the heavier capacitance. This is the hookup. So two capacitors connected parallel, two tail resistors. Again, two capacitors parallel, two tail resistors. And the capacitor we're going to test is here is a 1500 picofarad capacitor and we're going to test it with uh, uh, actually 75 kV the polarity change is happening by reversing these two wires the outside outlet of the power supply, the 40 kV power supply. Now it's reverse power supply and these are the charging resistors and in this side we could see the front resistors double drop two front resistor after each other. We use in different values. Right now we had here underneath these are 100 ohms that's 10 ohm, 10 ohm, all of the back resistors are 100 ohm and these are 47 ohms. And relatively easy to change it is a screwdriver or a wrench necessary. This is the lower side of the capacity voltage divider. This is an amphenol plug which connects the system together. Um, this vertical resistor is that four, 400 mega ohm, which sensing the DC voltage, charging voltage. This is a shorting solenoid arm. The turn on switch is above this line. It takes a few seconds to be able to operate it. Turn on. And this is the controller. The controller has a main power switch which has to be turned on. The digital panel meter shows zero zero. Later on we have to dial the requested voltage which is 80 kV with this thumb wheel switch 80 kV and previously we have found out uh, the correct efficiency in this case was 59 percent and um, we could turn on by pressing the high voltage on uh, for a few seconds the buzzer will sound and the red light will be on and in the same time a shorting switch open and it's charging up. The voltage went up to 78 kV. It's not adjusted properly, it should go up to 80. And we press the impulse button and we heard the click and let's see it didn't get a waveform because it was not hooked up adjusted correctly it has to be in a single shot auto and let's try it again you turn it on the buzzer is sounding it's charging up When it reaches 80 kV, we press the impulse. I hope the scope is ready. Ready. Oh, we got a waveform. I have to move to be able to see it. This is the waveform. 
hard to see. It's um, about 80 kV on a screen and the rise time we could measure by adjusting the the horizontal position move it closer to the center and right now it's in a half a microsecond uh, a division and this is the rise time which is a pretty smooth at the beginning we have noise because we are very close to the uh, impulse generator about five feet